So here we are, getting ready for the big day tomorrow, where we're going to glue together our violin. So we've got a violin in two parts. We've got the back and the belly. And tomorrow, we're going to glue these together. This is the second time we're doing it. Last time, we didn't quite get a snug fit right here by the neck. So we took it apart again. And this time, hopefully, we get it right. We've taken off the fingerboard. That'll, we'll deal with that later on. And the saddle's gone also. So let's take a look and see what we got ready here, what, what, what we prepared. First, we have the heating box. Tonight, we'll heat up the violin to 100 degrees in the heating box. Heating box is equipped with a light bulb. And some netting, which we'll put, we'll line with paper so that it doesn't damage the varnish. It's just about at 100 degrees, which is where it should be. So overnight, we dry out the wood so that when it gets moist again and expands, it won't crack. And here, get some light on the situation. We have the frame for the violin. This perfectly fits the violin. The neck goes here. The rest of it goes here, facing up, so that we don't lose the shape of the violin. Now, we, we cut this up and measured it while the violin was still whole, and before we took the top off. And we have our little Screw, screw, uh, screws tomorrow to screw on the top to the bottom. We've got our glue cooking in there. And we're all ready for the big day. So, we'll shut off the, the video for now and we'll start it up again tomorrow morning. This is special glue made from, from horses. It comes in a powder. You should buy it from International Violin. I don't remember the exact ratio of water to, uh, to powder. But you can look that up online. And you let it soak for two hours before you heat it up. And then you heat it up. And you leave it overnight cooking. And we've got our brushes ready to paint, paint on the glue. Now all together, from the moment we take it out of the heat box until we put it in on, on, on the frame, put the top on, put the glue on, put the top on, put 10 screws on first before we put all the screws. One over here, two over here, two over here, two over here, two in the middle, two over here on the upper bout. Now we're here in the two next to the next. We put those 10 on first. We've got, that should all be done in about one minute. Well, the wood is still warm. 
So uh, tomorrow will, is the big day, and we'll, we'll continue the video tomorrow. Good night. Well, welcome to my laboratory. We're about to put the top plate of the belly onto the back. And uh, we've got our little screws all ready to put on, to, to tighten up. We've got 10 of them ready. We've got our brushes ready. We've got our glue made. And um, in a hot bath, keeping it warm. We've got somewhere to put our plate, our top plate, so it doesn't get damaged while we're working on the bottom plate. And putting it in place in the, in, the, in, the, in the skeleton. Well, here we go. I'm going to pull it out now of the hot box. And um, I won't be talking while I'm working. I hope you can see well, as well as, well, as, best, as you, best you can with this drill press in your way. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to start putting the glue on. You keep it warm while I, while I work. Walk, go around the edges of the back. Try to work quickly before it dries. Okay, I got my glue on. Here goes the top. Everything looks in order. It's firm against the neck. Bolt side up. Coat just moved. Got it back in place. Got my first thumb screw in. Got my 
and take the th second thumb screw in. One, two. Screws on top, the first ten. Five. Seven. All the while it's in the skeleton while I'm doing this. Eight. Two by the neck. Nine. Ten. Okay, now we can remove the violin from the skeleton and apply the other clamps with the screw down.
need some room to work. So I'm going to remove the skeleton out of my way. Or maybe I'll just work over here. That's a better idea. Work all the way around the, around the violin.
Okay, we're almost all around the violin now. Last one. Okay, there we go. We've gone all the way around the violin. The overhand doesn't seem too far this time. Last time was way too far and my chin rest wouldn't fit over. So hopefully we did it right this time. You see it's snug up against the neck, so that's a good sign. We did it right this time. I'm going to take the, fir the first 10 um, screws, turn them around with the bolt with the with the bolt facing down. We do them one by one. I didn't do a good job on that one. Do that one again. There we go. As you see now, we've got the entire violin with, with, the, with the screws all around it, with the bolt facing down. Welcome back, everybody. Pardon? So, Pardon? there are a few things I left out of the video. First of all, the original 10 screws were two by the neck, two by the upper ribs, two by the middle ribs, and two by the lower ribs, and then two right here by the set where the saddle would be. Those are the original tenet that I put on with the screw up. Uh, another step that I missed, well the camera didn't, uh, the battery ran out, um, after I put on all the screws, I took hot water from my hot water bath where I had my glue in. 
on a towel. I, ran, I went around the seam here and I took off all the glue that was coming out. As I did, I dried it with, it with another towel. I went all around the violin, got off the extra glue. Um, and the, the, uh, you could also run uh, another, another uh, layer of varnish on top of the seam if, it, if you feel it's necessary. It may not be necessary. Finally, I'm also, every, every hour or so, while it's drying, test the screws and tighten them up a little bit. Okay, so here's the final uh, test to see if it worked or not. Let's take off all the screws and let's see if it actually st if it stays on. If we did everything correctly, it should work. Here it goes. So far, so good. So it's been 24 hours since I did this. I waited 24 hours before I took off the screws. The source for all this material is, you can look it up on the internet, removing the top plate from a violin. That's where I got all my instructions of how to do this. It's an article with pictures. And he also explains how to remove the top plate, which I didn't go into. Okay, let's see how, how, how it's holding up. Well, it's staying on. Okay, we've got one violin, one solid violin with the tops glued on top. Hope you enjoyed this video.